Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I enjoy being creative and love trying new tricks. My goal for this channel is to challenge myself and create fun stuff for myself. If you want to see me explore ideas and figure out ways to DIY a variety of stuff, click the subscribe button. Last time, I upgraded my Super Saiyan 3 Goku figure. Today I am going to try something different. Here is the Nintendo Switch. I actually got it on launch day. I lined up at Walmart at 4 or 5 am and was the seventh person in line. My friends went even earlier and were first in line to haha. <laughs> they hardcore. Anyway. The Switch is great. I love that it can be played like a traditional video game console. And is also portable too. The best of both worlds. I love bringing it with me on trips, so I made this case with a cardboard box and card stock paper. This case was designed to fit everything I need, such as the stand. The console. The Joy-Cons. The power adapter. Even the Joy-Con straps. And of course, a pair of headphones. And for the games. I like buying physical games. So I usually bring four games with me. They fit perfectly in a VRPod case. And it fits into my travel case nicely as well. However, as I buy more games, I realize traveling with them is becoming an issue. I need a better method of transporting my games. So here's the plan. I want to make something small and portable. And I'll want to be able to organize my games to a certain degree. Single player games on the right hand side, and multiplayer games on the left. It will be a grid of four, so I can stack them without them taking up too much height. This will give me the optimal travel size. I usually visualize things in 3D. So I need to draw this out for me to see if it works. I want to mimic the detachability of the Joy-Cons. I want the single player side and the multiplayer side to be separable. Like individual drawers. That would make it easier for me to look for a specific game. I may need to add a little piece to prevent the games from falling out. And for the overall aesthetics. I want to mimic how the Joy-Cons look. So in the end, it will look like two Joy-Cons attached to each other. This looks like a good plan. So, can I make it? First I am going to draw the layout of the actual compartment first. I am using card stock paper, because they are easily foldable, and are much stiffer than regular printer paper. And now, cut cut cut. More careful cut cut cut. I am using a knife here, but scissors would be just as efficient. I added 4 little tabs for easier gluing. Now it's time to fold fold fold. I like using a ruler or straight edge to help me fold stiffer paper. Now because I want this container to be rigid. I am going to use white glue instead of glue stick, here it is. I have made another identical one off screen. Let's see if the game cartridges fit. Perfect. I can stack quite a bit of games in here. Now for the Joy-Cons. I am going to 3D model them instead, since it involves rounded corners. It is very difficult to fold paper into something round. So I am only going to give the impression of a rounded corner. On the left here, is a 3D version of the container I folded earlier. I need to make sure the Joy-Con design can fit over the container bit. That's why you see me adjusting the pixels and height of the Joy-Con over and over again. Otherwise my design will fail. Alright. This seems to work. 
Now here's what it looks like on paper. I am going to cut this with scissors this time instead, because there are so many corners and cuts to be made. As you can see, there are many many tabs for this. All the triangles you see, are tabs that need to be glued together. Now let's pre-fold the paper first. I am using the ruler again, because in my experience, sometimes when you fold cardstock paper by hand, you can get an uneven fold. Small fold fold fold. More tiny fold fold fold. And some more fold fold fold. And even more fold fold fold. Alright, that's took a while. Now let's apply the glue and hope everything folds and sticks together. I apologize that a lot of this is off screen that I couldn't really see. I am just folding the tabs and gluing the pieces together. It's slowly taking the shape of the Joy-Con. This part is the trickiest to do as the card stock paper wants to unfold itself all the time. The tabs are also so small that I have to make sure I am applying pressure when I'm gluing, or else it'll just fall apart. That's why the pre-folding is very important. It will help keep the piece stay in shape, while the glue dries. After applying all my inner strength, and having many positive thoughts. The piece has successfully been glued together. I am not going to show how I did it for the other piece, because I was running out of inner strength, and had a couple of negative thoughts. Anyway. There they are. Everything is working out so far. Let's make sure the mechanic works. Perfect. Perfect. Look how they compress into one. Yay. Alright, everything is working according to plan. Now let's paint them. I've painted the containers matte black, because matte black makes everything look sleeker. As for the Joy-Cons. The iconic colors for the Joy-Cons are their neon blue and neon red. So I am just going to mix some acrylic paint. Side note. Acrylic paint generally dries a little darker, so it's nice to keep that in mind when mixing colors. Alright. Everything has been painted. Wow. The colors look great. Let's make sure the containers still fit after a coat of paint. And to make them snap together, I added a piece of magnet on each side. That way, they'll stay together when I travel. A look at that engineering. I did not study engineering, but I feel like I would have gotten an A for this. Now for the final details. I am just going to glue a bunch of black circles to mimic the buttons on the controller. Now that looks like the Joy-Cons. And finally, let's put the games in. Here's the final product. Single player games on this side. And multiplayer games on that side. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. If you like what I've done, please share this video and give this a like. Subscribe if you want to see me upgrade more random things. I can make it, so can you.